Our planet hosts a wealth of beautiful creatures, but none are more flashy than our feathered friends. Here are some of Love Nature's best dressed birds. These days, it's not easy to pull off a mustache, but this bird really nails the look. Meet the Inca Tern. Spotted off the coasts of Peru and Chile, these whimsical looking birds really grab attention like few others. Their bright red beaks and feet make them stand out in a crowd, but as you might have guessed, they're famous for those long, white, mustache-like tufts. This cluster of feathers sprouting above that yellow, fleshy wattle is an Inca Tern's way of displaying its sexual eligibility. For both sexes, the mustache shows the bird is mature and healthy enough to mate. The bigger and longer the stash, the healthier the bird. And if they get together, the healthier their offspring should be. At least, that's the idea. Pretty in pink? No one does it quite like the flamingo. These long-legged, brightly colored birds made it cool to wear pink long before we did. Fun fact though, flamingos aren't pink by nature, they're pink by diet. Believe it or not, they're actually born with gray feathers. That hot pink tint comes from beta carotene, a reddish orangey pigment found in the algae, plankton, and brine shrimp they typically dine on. See them stirring and stopping their feet in the mud, ducking their bills into the water? They're searching for snacks. That plumage ain't gonna pink itself. Were the flamingos to cut down their carotenoid intake, their new feathers would come in in a much lighter color. They say you are what you eat, and clearly flamingos take that to heart. Highly social animals, hanging together helps them stay clear of predators and maximize food intake. What's more pleasing than the sight of a flamingo? A thousand flamingos! There are some snazzy dressers in bird world, but all of them play second to the male peacock. Definitively dazzling to the eye, these guys prioritize looking their best over everything else. Male peacocks spend 50% more time preening than any other bird, and with good reason. It's how they attract the females. Fanning a large train of 150 feathers, a magnificent wall of color is raised for all to see. The best tail, in the best condition, with the most eye spots, garners the most attention. They don't call it peacocking for nothing. And to the females, the prettier he looks, the better his genes. Peacocks will even position themselves in relation to the sun so that their feathers look as stunning as can be. If a male believes he's caught a female's eye, he then turns around and shakes his tail feathers at her. Hey, if it works, it works. So what have we learned from these fly birds? Mustaches can still look good. Hot pink will always be hot. And peacocking is everything.